Are they coming from the other side, Josh? Uh, no, it looks like everybody's here. Here, who's coming? Okay. Yeah, one Okay, we'll go ahead. Uh, yeah, we uh, congratulate uh, Coach Ellis Johnson getting the head uh, coaching job at uh, Southern Miss. Uh, someone I think said it's the first assistant coach in, in South Carolina football history to be named the head coach at a Division One school. So that's neat. We're proud of that. We're, uh, you know, we're happy that uh, people out there consider our coaches uh, good coaches and, and qualified to be a head coach. So we appreciate everything Ellis and uh, his uh, family have done here in Carolina, and we wish him the best out there. I understand he's not going to coach in the bowl game. Is that correct? I talked to him briefly. Uh, I think the uh, the president the lady would like for him out there. Is yes, that yes. the latest? Okay. Yeah, no, he, he said at the press conference he's not going to coach in the bowl game. Okay. All right. That's fine. And we had sort of left that up in the air, but he had told me that they wanted him out there. So that uh, appears he's not going to coach in it. So uh, Lorenzo Ward will serve as the interim defensive coordinator and uh, be ready to run the defense uh, in the bowl. How much of a handicap will that be? Much I, well, I hope not any. And just, you know, like running back coach, tight end coach is not with us. Uh, our guys have practiced uh, pretty well all year. Hopefully we'll, we'll know what to, get, what to do. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, our, our defensive coaches, uh, I think, are ready to, ready to handle it and go from there. Steve, do you have anyone in mind for the replacement? Uh, i got several guys in mind. So, uh, certainly Coach Ward will be strongly considered, uh, as well as se several others. Uh, sort of interesting how many people are calling. Uh, I don't know. 10, 20 years ago, a lot of people wanted to coach in South Carolina, but there's a bunch of them out there now that uh, seem to want to uh, love to come here. Steve, do you know, is everybody academically ready to go for the bowl game? Uh, from all we've heard, they've all passed their six hours minimum and uh, ready to go. Well, you think as much as the, the coach under you as opposed to coach in South Carolina? No, I think because we're winning. It's a good place. Yeah. You know, I just have to be the head coach here. But, uh, uh, what we've done the last few years, uh, and it's a good place to live. Wonderful university. Yeah. President Pastides is the best. Eric Hammond's a pretty good guy too. So, uh, yeah, we got. Uh, I think we got a lot of good people in the right places. You got a timetable? Timetable? No, yeah. uh, not particularly. Uh, but probably after the bowl game, uh, we'll get through with the guys who've uh, been here all year. And uh, GAs will get to coach a little bit more. Uh, Tommy Galtz, coaching running backs and tight ends right now. I told him he's. Uh, least paid running back tight end coach in America right now. And uh, he does a lot. These guys do a lot. Appreciate what they do. How long is it going to be to replace Ellis? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out when we start playing uh, next year. That would probably be a question right there how we'll do it. Uh, but certainly uh, it was a good time for Ellis to get this job. Gosh, we're fourth in the nation in total defense. He's been the coordinator here for three years. So he's done a super job and uh, put him in position to, to get a head job. Speaking of the running back, a lot of inquiries about the, about the running back uh, position as well, too. Oh, certainly. Certainly a lot of a lot of resumes sent in and so forth. Steve, uh, Kenny Miles was saying that uh, if he wants to come back next year, you said his scholarship yeah. would be here. Do you yeah, know I think so. Yeah, Kenny, uh, you know, we're trying to sign one running back this year, but mm -hmm. if Kenny comes back, that, that will not be an urgency right now. So, yeah, Kenny's starting the bowl game. He's practiced very well. And, uh, Probably be you know, he'll start backing up Marcus if everything goes according to plan, sure. of course. But uh, he's a good player to have around, certainly. Steve, you're going to start Kenny in the ball game. You yeah. Too. Yes. What went into I guess that thought? He played better in the last game. Simple as that. You're only as good as your last game in life. How's Marcus doing? As good as but Brandon's out? okay. Brandon'll be okay. He just struggled a little bit, twisted his ankle a little bit. He's got a little bit of a bad hamstring right now. So Kenny's uh, he's by far our best practice running back right now on the team. He's our best running back on the team. How's Marcus doing with his rehab right now? He's out there watching today. He's walking yeah, around. He's off crutches, so he should be uh, full go next year. Okay. All right. Anything else? Is Mike Stoops the guy you'd be interested in just talking to about this? Oh, I'm not getting into all that, man. He's new. Oh, he must be new. He must be new.